You know, um, as a parent, the last week has been tough. You think about taking your children to school, but it's tough every time, right? We go through this every time we hear about another shooting. And what we also go through is hearing the opposition say um, there just needs to be more guns, more people carrying guns is somehow going to solve this problem. And even before this last shooting, I thought that was ludicrous. The truth is we need fewer guns on our streets. So in December, when in my district, the police in a good natured attempt was doing a gun buyback and were giving out gift cards to Walmart, the nation's largest retailer for guns and ammunition. And even though they don't sell guns in California, they do sell ammunition. It seemed a bit hypocritical and almost a waste of taxpayer dollars to suggest that we are doing something good, taking in old, often useless guns, and giving people the means to go buy more ammunition or possibly even more guns. So I introduced 1903, AB 1903, which would uh, not allow for agencies to use um, gun buyback programs to give gift cards to places that either deal in firearms or ammunition. And at the same time, I'm a joint author with Todd, Assembly Member Todd Gloria, also from San Diego, on a concealed carry uh, bill that would say that if you get a permit, there's got to be a minimum amount of training. It's really pushing back to this idea that somehow, just magically, by somebody carrying a gun around you, that we make ourselves safer. And now that we're hearing after the shooting that that is some people's response which can seem ludicrous to me, but we have to have bills in place that ensure, number one, if somebody has a gun around you, at least they know how to use it correctly. And number two, that we're not continuing arming people, even as we're trying to buy back the guns they have now. Neither of these will solve all the problems. Neither of these likely would stop another school shooting. But I'm proud to be among all these assembly members in, the, in a state like California where we are going to attack this problem from every single side we see possible. The bottom line is we hear those students in Florida. We hear, hear their cries. We encourage them. We've heard them for a while, and we're going to continue to do our good work and pressure Congress to do some work as well.